everyone, I'm Sandy from Sandy's Vintage Home Decor and Treasures, and I am bringing you another um, estate sale haul. And um, later today, we are going to start doing some projects for my booth, so that would be your, um, oh, how-to crafts, uh, we're going to be painting, I've got some really cute uh, chairs, I've almost got one done. Um, I won't bore you with all of that. I'll, I'll pause it so that you can uh, I, then unpause it and stuff like that. Anyway, let's get on with this haul. And I'm not sure if this I will do another haul from this estate sale. It just depends on what I find in all of this stuff. I probably ended up probably with a thousand pieces of uh, inventory. But... Some of them are going to be in groups, sold as a lot, and some of them will be individually. So let's see what we have here. This is the cutest. Look at this. It has the ties on the sleeves. It's kind of a loose um, type of shirt. And it is a JM collection. It's an XX large. And it is just adorable. I love it. It's too big for me or I would be keeping it. It has the, around the neck, it also has the same tie that is around the sleeves. Just adorable. Um, so that will be listed pretty quick. Next I have, this is another dress that I got and I fell in love with it. And it is a Clues Collection, New York, Paris. And it is made of rayon and acetate. It's a size 10. Look at, it's a dress. It's a long dress. So this would probably be a maxi dress. I can't stand up because of the wall, but I will show you. It comes all the way. So it's a maxi dress. Let me, sh and it's more, it's kind of comes out fitted in the waist and then flares out at the bottom. It does have long sleeves on it, button up, but let me show you the collar. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty, guys. Look at this. Can you see that collar? Just adorable. It's in a deep, I would call this a plum color. And you could do anything dressy if you're going out, maybe a date night, or you're going out with the girls, or even if you go to church, whatever. The thing on this is that it is vintage because. It has the shoulder pads, and today, this is probably the 90s, I would say. I will have to look more into it, but I would say 90s, but it is in excellent condition. Just beautiful. Uh, the other one is this one, and it is beautiful, too. This is from uh, Share Aid of California. It is a size... 14 and um, it's made in the USA so I'll have to look and see what it's made of because that tag did not have it this is adorable too look at this lace on this dress and it, it is a, it is a maxi it'll go let me show you all the way down it'll go down to the floor however the you can see the um, hem is kind of ruffly, and then it does, it is lined all the way through. Um, feels like polyester lining, and it is short sleeved, and it looks like it just slips on. I don't see, I don't see a zipper in it, but just beautiful lace let me show you the lace try to show you that lace look at this lace just gorgeous it is a stretchy lace 
So, anyway, I fell in love with this dress. And I may be trying it on. Okay, next we have a Worthington jacket, ladies jacket. It is a herringbone, um, navy blue with a lining. Um, it's a size 10. And the outside is um, rayon and the inside is acetate. Has pockets in the front here. I'll show you the back. And like I said, I mean, these things are just gorgeous. Somebody was a business lady or something. It has like the three buttons on the cuffs, even though they don't open or anything, just for extra, extra um, decoration. But it is beautiful. I love the herringbone on that. Okay, here we have a pair of jeans. These are, and I've never heard of them, they are called old it's not these. Of course, I've heard of these. Old Navy jeans. I had another pair of jeans. It's like, I wonder who that is. Um, this is a size 34-32. And they are the heavy um, weight. Has the side pockets on them. Can you see the side pockets there on each side of them? Just really pretty. Now, this one was worn quite a bit. It does have some wear on the bottom, but I think I can get away with it. I just won't get as much. I will um, take pictures of that and make sure it's in the uh, description that it does have some wear on the hem. But I don't really think that that is going, because this side just has a very little bit. So, I don't think that'll take away. It won't get as much as if it didn't have it, but I think they'll be fine. It has the pockets in the front. Just, a, I love these because they are so heavy. And I, I have so many problems. Ladies, if you've noticed, especially if you live in cold areas, you cannot find anything in women's that is warm. Um, and everything. Men's is warm. And so, for my winter coat, I had... I had a winter coat, be, oh gosh, it was several years ago, but um, I've had, I had it for like, I don't know, 12 years. It was so warm. It was like a jean jacket, but it was uh, lined and it had flannel inside and I wore it all the time. You could tell it was just very worn. And finally, it was just to the point that I had to throw it away and I could not find a women's coat that was warm like that. So my husband said why don't you get a man's so my winter coat now is a man's coat um it i don't care because it keeps me warm it's really really it's it's got the uh like the uh down inside of it and it's lined and everything so it keeps me warm but i had to go to a men's to get it so this here is like a velvet suede it is not actually suede look at that and the the bottom kind of flares out of the at the and this is a Liz Claiborne and it is a size four the shell is um, polyester and the lining is polyester as well but this is like the suede polyester it is so nice I don't see any kind of wear on it. It has the buttons to match and it has little pockets in the front. Just adorable. So that will be, I want to try to get my winter clothes up pretty quick just because it is winter and everything. Now this one here, it's not, it's not a big high price. It is um, probably like a Hanes or something. They took out the tags. Um, but look at this. Can you see that? It is just so pretty. The little butterflies, they're appliqued on and they put little stones on them and just gorgeous. So I will sell this. I probably won't get as much because it is just a regular, um, sweat, uh, it's a regular sweatshirt except it is, a uh, 
higher uh, higher price one because it does have the extra collar but unfortunately they took out the tags and the size so I'll just have to figure out what size but I think if if this will sell it right here because it is just beautiful people like love butterflies so I believe that will sell pretty quickly um, next are funky jeans <laughs> look at these jeans they have flowers all over them kind of a faded it looks like a like a distressed type of um, and this one is Gloria Vanderbilt it's a size 16 P it was made in Jordan but I think they are very unique I really do think they're cute and um, good the hems are really good so I will be um, thinking about this it may be I have to try them on first if anybody does see anything that they would like because I have so many pieces of um, uh, pieces of clothing please I, I will put my email address in the bottom but please email me and let me know that you would like to um, see about getting that and I will We'll, we'll work out a price and stuff. Also, in the middle of this commercial break, um, if you will like and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, right now I have 32 subscribers. I started in de January. So um, I did a few back in June, but um, I've really started doing more now in January. So, if you can like and subscribe to my page, I would really, it would help me so much. Get my um, scores up, get my numbers up. And anyway, and also just so, in case you didn't watch my other videos, I say this with every video. Um, all my funds that I get, I do have two booths that do very well. That's what we're going to be working on the rest of the day today. Um, and I'll be filming that as we go. But, um... If, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, it was a commercial break, so if I think of it, we'll have another commercial break. So, here is a men's shirt, pocket shirt. I would say like a golf shirt or something it says it's from ld sports international and it is a size large so this is the one i didn't really recognize i've heard of people talking about them on other channels and so when i got that i thought oh cool but it is really neat i could see golf somebody out there doing golf or um some kind of activity that way so, um, and I will, I, I will do this. This is kind of a shout out. I have been watching Melissa from Blooming Clothes, Bloomin' Clothes, and she is a great help on um, things like, I love to watch her package things because she is so good at it. Her packages when they go out to the clients or the, her customers beautiful wrapped um and i've kind of picked up on that just because i want somebody to look at it and say that's impressive and i'd like to buy from her again so anyway that's the call out for melissa at bloomin bloomin clothes this here is an air apostle shirt has the a87 i'm gonna have to find out when this was made I think this is an old tag, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm going to have to look that up. But, um, just really nice. It's a black, um, black polo shirt. Uh, okay. This here is another one that I love. The colors. And this is a men's, just really cute and it is a st john's bay size large that may be 
Nope, it's a man's. No, nope, it's a woman's. Because it buttons. So this is a woman's. Large, I may have to try this on. Because I love the colors. And I actually have a necklace that would match this. Um, this necklace that I do have on here, it is listed in my eBay store for sale. And if you're interested in that, if not, it's going to be mine. Because <laughs> I like it. I, it's very iridescent and sparkly. It picks up the colors. Especially, I wore it with this cream color just because it's cream. But it picks up pinks and peaches and stuff like that. Just really pretty. This here is, you're going to have to wear a little tank top or something underneath of it. But it is so, look at that. It is black and white, and it is, let me show you here, it is laser cut. The flowers and everything are laser cut and embroidered. So, that is a really cute one. This is from Worthington. It's a size large. Just really pretty. It's a long sleeved. And look, it's got the flare out sleeves, and they have scallops on the ends of the sleeves. So this is really, really pretty. I could say, you know, somebody, if it's a cool night, they've been swimming, maybe on vacation at the beach or something like that, or on a cruise, it gets a little chilly and they want to just put something on over their bathing suit that it's cotton, so it'll dry really fast. Um, that would be thing. Something because you'd have the bathing suit under it, the little colors of the bathing suit would come through on from the flowers it's been cut out um this here is now this is the one i said i've never heard of but it is so cute it's a ladies and it look at the back of it it's got the pleats around here on the yoke of it it's got little pleats let me hold it up so you can see and then it's got this cable knit on around the collar it has three buttons that are covered with the same material it's a probably about a three quarter length sleeve the sleeves have the same cable um cable decoration on it the cable knit and this is the one i it's an it's spelled out eight 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 so I got to look that up because I've never heard of it. It's a size medium, and this is 100% cotton. It's really heavy, though. Just, just really heavy. It is nice. Um, my next one, this is one with tags. And I've got a couple of these, but they're in different colors. Let me turn it around. to, And it has the um, little triangles down the front of it it's gray but it has the light grays and blacks and darker grays it is a size large it is new with tags and it's apartment nine and this regularly sold for 56 dollars so i will have to look that up and see what um if you have any information it'd be easy it'd be helpful to help me Kind of narrow it down to see where um, things are with it. I have, we've only got a few more pieces left. So, but this is the cutest top, jacket top. It has, let me see if I can um, get this kind of buttoned up so you can kind of get the idea of it. It's kind of, I would almost say safari um, just because of the make of it, the, the way it's done. Look at this. It is so cute. It has the belt in the back, so you can tighten it. And then it has the short sleeves that's cuffed. And it is a Banana Republic size 4, and it was made in the Philippines. Just And I would almost say that that is... I don't know if there's a color, but it, it it's a color to me of the middle of a watermelon. Just a really pretty um, 
reddish pink just it, it looks like a, the color of the watermelon so it will be in my eBay store and I will put that link in the description now this here is a uh, skirt and top let me show you this skirt this is kind of like um, sort of not really like one of those broom um, the broom handle skirt um, but it's not as crinkled but up at the top it's more crinkled and then but it is full at the bottom and it's lightweight and it has elastic so if you go out you eat too much it'll stretch out and then it has the top and I love the colors of it the turquoise aquas mints anything like that are I was born in December so that is basically the aquas are my birthstone and I love these colors um, my house when we finally get to move and I can unpack everything will be we, when we move to Florida it will be a beachy farmhouse theme because um, I love both of them and I thought well I'll just have both I might be different here is the top of it button down hidden buttons and it has little buttons down here at the bottom just to kind of uh, have it where it's a little tuck in there with the button and it is short sleeve this is really s silky it's by Breckenridge it's a size 12 and it's a hundred percent rayon and and it was made in Singapore but it feels it's very lightweight it's really silky it's not silk but it's silky like um, just real comfortable to wear it'd be real cool on a hot a hot day you could wear this I could see business like if you work in an office you could wear this or if you are going um, out in the evening time and it's warm you could wear that um, put on some little sandals with it and it would just be really cute you could just do really anything with this it has so many options that you can do all right last one for today until we start our uh, booth stuff this here is a ladies it's a Karen Scott sport and I know that a lot of Karen Scott's I got a lot of Karen Scott's that were plain this is a Karen Scott that I got it has the cable knitting down the front of it the one I wore yesterday that was pink I got that and it's a uh, Karen Scott Right now, that's all I wear is sweaters because it, right now, I think the temperature is 19. And yesterday, last night, we got snow. Not very much, but it was a, uh, just a little bit. Here in Missouri, I guess they don't take any chances because we were out at 6.30 and it was snowing. It was snowing and um, it was blowing across the road, but the MoDOT, who does the roads, and everything they were already out expecting I guess it to get pretty bad it was supposed to do it all night but obviously it did not okay back to this this is a red and white stripe but look at it it has these little figures on them that's that is embroidered and then again at the bottom of it it has another um, it kind of looks like a Christmas tree. So this may be a Christmas um, shirt. Um, maybe they are going to a Christmas party. Uh, they do have some bags in their hands, but they're also leading their dogs. They've got some little dogs. Looks like maybe little bitty chihuahuas, teacup. And, but it, I didn't realize until I seen this I thought this they were carrying purses, but they are carrying presents as well. So that, that's a really cute Christmas shirt. And the back is just plain. It does have the pleat. Gives you a little bit more room. It's long sleeved. And this is cotton. And it's a size medium. Oh, it's 60% cotton and 40% polyester. So the polyester will 
um, it's be, it's wrinkled right now just because everything was thrown into that truck and then we brought it in and threw it on the couch. And I'm telling you, I'll tell you a story, but anyway, this will go up. I don't know if I'm going to put this maybe in like July or August. I'll wait a little bit longer so I can get some others. Um, when we got this, when we, it was very comical. Things like this seem to happen to me and I wish that you guys could see what was happening, but there was no way I could record it. But that truck, his truck is a big truck. It's, it's got a big, um, bed on it, heaped full of clothes, tied down so they wouldn't blow out. It was raining. This was the day that it rained all day. And, Tornado. and at four o'clock they were doing, everything was a dollar. And I thought, well, the clothes are not going to be a dollar though. So anyway, I went, no, I didn't. I was going to go. And at Four o'clock, I'll be hanged if the tornado sirens started going off. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. They had spotted tornadoes. We are in, if you look on the map, Joplin, Missouri is straight down in the middle of, of the country. We have a lot of tornadoes. You can read uh, YouTube of our tornado in 2011 that had taken out probably a third of our city which is, was a huge thing because it took out like Home Depot, um, one of our biggest, uh, Walmart, um, lots of people died. A hundred, I believe the count was 163 people did die. Um, I was at the hospital that had been hit with my mom and I was at that time, I am a nurse, but I have retired from there because of my health. And at the time I had to go to work. So I got her in a safe place. I had to go to work and about three o'clock in the morning, I did go home cause I had to be back to work at seven. So I was trying to find, you know, they, they were, it's like you could only go certain ways and the way that everything was pitch dark. Um, you couldn't see anything. You had to be very careful of not hitting stuff in the roads. Um, I did see a car wrapped around uh, at one of the street lights, and my son's a cop, so I got a hold of him, and, and he said, yeah, he, had, he, he, he actually lived just a few blocks from that, and he had went down there, and the person had perished, and it was just a very morbid thing. Um, no landmarks. I didn't know where I was, even though I've lived in Joplin all my life. I didn't know where I was because there was just nothing that you could do. Um, I ended up having to go over to the interstate and go around all the way around to get to my house. So I probably went probably at least 30 miles out of my way because of all of the destruction that had to happen. So on this day, it, it terrifies me now. I didn't used to be scared, but since then it's been very scary. So, I was actually texting my husband because he was at work and but at four o'clock the sirens were going off I was supposed to be at that estate sale how dare the tornadoes come through at four o'clock when I'm supposed to be there anyway I got a hold of my husband after it was all over and said meet me there because I you know I want to see what they have if they close at five so he did meet me there. We only had a few minutes to look, but we looked until they were picking up stuff and everything. It ended up, I was looking at other stuff, and when I went back over there, it ended up that apparently my husband asked the person what they were going to do with the clothes. He said he didn't, he was just going to get rid of them and asked my husband if he wanted them. And, and we thought it was just kind of like, yeah, pick out what you want. But all of us, when I went over there, there was four guys carrying armloads from five, four or five different um, big clothes racks, putting them in the truck. So that truck was heaped over. It was still raining. So when we got home, we had to get them in the house as fast as we could. So we filled up and it's still pretty, It's it, there's still a few there, but nothing like, but we had my our couch heaped up 
all, I mean, it was just heaped up until I could sort through them, get the wet stuff. I had to get them dried and everything like that. It, that was last weekend. So last weekend, I didn't shoot any videos. I should have shot, and I did not think because I was just trying to get this stuff done. I should have shot videos of all that. And it was... Now I look back and it, it's really comical. It's like, oh my gosh, how what happened? But we ended up with about a thousand pieces. It is a blessing because I don't. Ha we don't have the finances right now to just go out and get a lot of um, inventory. And I know what they gave us is bread and butter that will sell from anywhere from ten dollars up to maybe thirty. Now I did get coats. And I know that they will probably sell a little bit more, but, um, some of, you know, but still that's bread and butter that adds up. Um, so I'm okay with that for now until we can get our, get my feet on the ground running. Um, so, um, as I have always said, and I think I said it, all of our, the things that I make on eBay, goes into our Florida account so that we'll have some money when we move to Florida we'll be able to be able to um, be have some money to 